Hi guys, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. In this video, we will know about even and odd signal synthesis from a sequence. Before that, let's see what is an even and an odd signal is. An even signal or symmetric signal follows this condition. Even it is time reversed, it looks as the original signal. Then an odd signal or asymmetric sequence follows this condition. Here is an example for even signal. Even if we flipped it at zero, it remains same. And here is an example for an odd signal. Now coming to even and odd synthesis, any arbitrary real valued sequence xn can be decomposed into its even and odd components, as xn equals xen plus xon parts. Where xe and xo are the even and odd components respectively. To find the even and odd signals we need xn and xn signals. If we have a sequence like this, then its inverted or folded signals looks like this. If we observe them clearly, we have some missing data at some points in both the sequences. So addition or subtraction is not possible until we make few changes to it. Let's see how to do that. First we have to create new range. First we take the minimum of minimums, then we find maximum of maximums. Now we create a vector between these points. Now we add zeros to the input sequence at missing points to get a new input sequence like this. Then we find the even and odd parts using these equations. Now get into MATLAB. Create a signal from 0 to 6, with ones from 0 to 5 and 0 at 6. Once plot this to look the signal. We cannot observe the signal clearly. Now change the y-axis limits like this. Ok, we can observe the signal. Let's move forward. Now we flip the range of input and store it in N2. Then we create a sequence from minimum of minimums to maximum of maximums. Now create a vector of size same as n, with all zeros. Then for the range of n1 and y, add the elements of x1 with the logical operations like this. It is same as we did in our previous video. Once go through it. Then we store y1 in x variable. Then we add the signals multiplied with 0.5 and store it in xe variable. Similarly subtract the signals and store it in xo variable. Now plot them using subplot function like this. Now run the script. Yup we got it. Here is our input signal. This is the even component. We can observe that, even if we fold the signal also, it remains same. And this odd component of the signal. Let's give a title to the plots, so we can differentiate them. Ok it's working fine. Does it work for all cases? Let's check that by changing the sequence. Ok in this condition also it's working fine. But how to check them? Let us add the even and odd components and plot it. Sorry it's x here. We can observe that both sequences are same. Now create a function for this as we did earlier. Now check for the input sequence. It is same as we got previously. Odd part is also same. Okay, that's all for this video. We will meet you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do like and share the video. Thank you and sayonara.